over. Whatever questions you have, you can clarify now. The two important teachers of the foundation, the most important teachers of the Implant Foundation are here. And you should utilize this opportunity to clarify. And then we'll go ahead with the rest of the lectures. We are a bit late, but, but it's all right. The most important thing is the interaction. So please, please feel free to ask questions. Yeah, please. We will discuss the, um, uh, the steps of work, also uh, the materials which we use or ad are advised to use uh, for this technology, and uh, also about, uh, we will talk about the design of the bridges. Um, so all implant abutments for strategic implants and also compression screws, um, they have two sizes of the heads. Uh, all cemented abutments. So they, have, uh, they are for the big heads and for the small heads. Uh, and uh, all accessories which are used for prosthetic works have also two sizes. Uh, the small uh, and big. Uh, here you can see the small and big transfers which are used for taking the impression. Uh, then uh, the small head sm uh, and the big head uh, implant analogs. Uh, on the picture here, you see the analogs and the transfers and uh, how precisely they show their margin of the implants and uh, big and small burnout caps. Uh, for taking impression, it's uh, important always to use uh, transfers in order that the dentist technician gets the exact position of the margin and then the production of the prosthetic work is precise is and easy for him. Uh, the impressions for strategic implants are actually uh, very easy to produce and uh, these impressions are much easier to compare with the normal work on teeth because uh, we don't need to have any um, high uh, low viscosity material to take um, impressions to find the margin and uh, to detect it uh, because all margins are already there determined by the transfers. Uh, when taking impression, uh, we always can verify the position of the uh, transfers for these holes on top of the uh, transfer and also the, uh, the position is also very rigid and it's easy to feel it and later in before taking impression we uh, secure them by the um, uh, flow silicon the flow composite <coughs> um, for taking impression we always use uh, putty material medium flow uh, material without any uh, uh, precise silicon uh, because First of all, it's completely enough information for the dentist technician to have this type of impression because all uh, margins of the um, abutments are visible in the impression. And um, uh, second, because we very often work with uh, flaps, with uh, extraction sockets, and we don't want flow material to go onto the flap. So uh, pre precise silicone is uh, forbidden for this type of impressions. Uh, here on the picture, I just show you the material which you, we use for taking impression. This is a silicone, but there is no big limits uh, which silicone um, uh, material is going to be used for taking impression. Regarding the bite registration, uh, the bite registration, in order to take a bite which is uh, maximum precise for the later production of prosthetic work, uh, we create bite re similar to the one used for removable dentures. So uh, there are two occlusal rims are separately produced, separately for the upper and lower jaw, and then they are connected to each other with a fast setting silicone. In order to produce this rim, rims, we uh, use um, the spoon. Um, uh, this, uh, the best would be the spoon like on, you see on the picture, which we use, doesn't have any special retention uh, points, so it's easy to um, take these impressions out. So there are two separate impressions which are converted into the, this type of occlusal rims. 